Hello fellow film geeks, my name is Isaac and welcome to the Isaac the Film Geek channel, a channel for all movie fans, whether you belong to the Harry Potter fan base, Marvel fan base, DC fan base, Star Wars fan base, whatever movies you're into, this is a channel for you and this is a channel for all movie fans. So welcome to the Isaac the Film Geek YouTube channel I hope you enjoy this video. I don't typically like making videos on other content creators. To me, everyone here on this platform has a right to have a voice. But this also means that other people have the right to comment on that voice. Whether it's like, for example, uh, comic book fan gaming. He's this other YouTuber here on YouTube and he typically responds to my videos. I like that he uh, responds to things I say. But I am going to respond to this idiotic content creator. Her name's Mecha Random 42 and she's part of the Fandom Menace. I honestly don't really know what the Fandom Menace is. You know, I'm a big Star Wars fan, but I don't keep up with Star Wars YouTube that much. I mostly am on like the Snyder trend or like just movie trends. And so Mecha Random 42, they on a stream made these ridiculous comments that really boiled my blood in a certain way because I have a, I have a moral code in my mind that I'm going to say, but if you want to watch the full clip, uh, go watch Saggy Melons' stream on it. She uh, responded to it. Uh, she has the clip. You can find the clip anywhere, but Mecha Random 42 on a stream was mocking Zack Snyder's, uh, you know, the, his daughter that sadly pa uh, passed away. And he was like, you know what? It's like, she was responding. Like, I guess there were Snyder fans attacking her or something. And, you know, they were attacking her and she responded the worst way possible. And look, I'll admit this. I'll be the first one to admit it. There are a ton of toxic Snyder fans. A lot of them. That's undoubtable. But there's a, diff there's a difference between mocking someone with the director and then mocking someone for their for their daughter that just passed away. And Mecha Random 42, I'm sorry, but you're a disgrace. That is the most disgraceful comments I've ever seen made by anyone here on the platform. And she, in some recent videos, she's been claiming this is cancel culture. Look, if you're making fun of someone's dead daughter, then of course you're going to face backlash. If I was to do it, I'd understand why I had backlash. Because obviously, when you take it so far to a point where you want to start attacking someone's a family member, someone who had nothing to do with this. Because remember, she didn't ask for the Snyder Cut to happen. She didn't ask for all this ha to happen. She's not part of this. She had her own life. And sa unfortunately, she passed away and rest in peace to her, to Autumn, uh, Autumn Snyder. But again, you made fun of a dead person. For what? She didn't do anything. Zack Snyder didn't do anything to you, so why do you have to take it that far? And yeah, you do, you do deserve to be canceled, because want to know why? Because you, you legit made fun of someone's dead daughter. Imagine if you had a kid, you carried her for nine months, or him, and, you know, you raised the child, and you raise it, and you love it with all your heart, and then one day, unfortunately, it passes away. But not only that... Imagine if you have idiots like you on the platform saying, oh, well, this, this, and that, oh, well, like all of that complaining. Imagine hearing all of that. Obviously, you're going to be pissed off. And, you know, right, you rightfully deserve to be canceled. And everyone wants to say cancel culture is a bad thing. I'm sorry, but I think it's a good thing being used the right way. You know, I mean, look at R. Kelly. How would we have con R. Kelly if people didn't speak up? I mean, and don't just, I mean, if you want to use the excuse that only the liberals cancel, conservatives do it too. Brie Larson was canceled. It's the same, it's the same fact. Gina Carano was canceled by liberals and, you know, I'm not any, in any position, so I'm not even going to get into that, but cancel culture has been used for good things. James Gunn, when he made those inappropriate jokes, I understand why people were mad. I completely understand. And, you know, Bill Cosby, he was canceled. Or Kelly was canceled. And then some YouTubers who have done bad things, EP445 and James Charles, both talking to minors, 
They both got canceled and they were perfect to get canceled. Now, yes, cancel culture has worked poorly. I still think canceling Gina Carano was stupid. But Michael Random 42, you took it too far. You you talked about the dead a dead daughter. Someone who had nothing to do with it. And death ain't something you joke about. Because once you die, done, over. Your life is over. And so for you to just make a joke about it, like I'm I'm all in for dark humor. I make a lot of dark jokes. But I know my limits. Not to make fun of dead people. Especially when you have a platform like that. Where you have a platform where you have this voice where you can just talk and speak and do whatever you want and you have a large audience and you decide to mock someone's death? Like, come on. Come on. And it's like... And it's so frustrating because it's not like Zach himself attacked him. Because this is like... I understand being mad at the Snyder fans. I get it. I completely understand. When a fan's attacking you, you attack them as a fandom. But why'd you have to go for his daughter? That like that's the most pathetic scummy thing I've ever seen someone do. And I don't care what beliefs you have, I don't care what morals you have, and I don't care how you run your YouTube channel. Be prepared for backlash once you make fun of someone's daughter. And for those people actually defending her, I'm sorry, but how idiotic, how stupid, how how small of a brain do you have to defend someone who's making fun of someone's dead daughter? And look, I don't have any takes on this. All I'm saying is, why support her? I didn't know about her at all before this. But now that I know about her, I'll make sure I'll never subscribe. I'll make sure I'll never support her content at all. And I hope you guys do. Because people like this shouldn't have a platform. And I don't care if you guys say, oh, you're part of cancel culture, this, this, that. Okay, then. I guess I am. I guess I am. You want to know why? Because I don't want pathetic, scummy people here on YouTube. And this isn't because of politics. This isn't because of what side you're on. This isn't because of what fandom you belong to. This is because you made fun of someone's dead daughter. And that's it. Point blank. Point blank, period. That's what it is. Don't turn this around. Don't make it about something else. Because a lot of people hear that when they get backlash, they'll often say it's because of political views and this, this, and that. No, 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 no. This time, just this time for this one girl, this one white girl. The whole point is you made fun of someone's dead daughter and be prepared for backlash. You deserve the hate you're getting. You deserve it. And again, what if, imagine if someone, let's imagine you have a family member that passes away, whether it's a mother, father, uncle, uh, whatever. Imagine one of them passes away. You're sad about it. You're depressed about it for years and years on end. You miss this person. Imagine that. And all of a sudden, you see some pathetic little streamer, like some pathetic little YouTuber, to come up out of nowhere and be like, hey, you deserve to die, this and that. I don't know. You guys can watch the full clip. I'm not going to play it here because, again, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to share the clip. I don't want to share the clip. And even then, I don't re recommend going on her channel. I'm sorry, but if you want to watch it, go on Saggy Melons' YouTube channel. She she has the clip on her on her stream or you know there's other youtubers who have clipped the, the, that part of the stream but i don't i don't look like like my moral code when it comes to death is don't make fun of it why because it's not right it's not right that person can't defend themselves that person can't do this that person can't do that their life is just done over with and you decide to make fun of it like come on come on but hey hey you know some of these um i don't know some of these idiots here and it's sad. It's coming from the fandom menace. I, I, look, I still actually don't know what the fandom menace really is. I hear my fellow other YouTubers talk about the fandom menace. Again, I don't keep up that much with Star Wars YouTube. But, hey, look. All I gotta say is, if you're making fun of someone's dead daughter, then prepare, be prepared for backlash. Why? Because you don't make idiot claims like that and then consider it cancel culture when someone attacks you. Stop blaming all of it on cancel culture. At the end of the day, it's not just cancel culture. People are mad. And people, understandably, are mad. And I don't know why people are so surprised about, you know, her getting backlash. Obviously, you're going to get backlash if you're making someone's make, making fun of someone's dead daughter. And it's not just cancel culture. This would happen even in 2010 when cancel culture didn't exist. This would happen even in the, the 90s if, if, if cancel culture didn't exist. This isn't just a, oh, look, cancel culture is attacking me. It's, it's embarrassing. It's, it's really embarrassing that the film fan community has to be like this. It, it truly, 
truly is a disgrace. And Mecha Random 42, I hope your channel gets terminated because at the end of the day, you don't deserve to have that platform. You don't. You know, there are a lot of other YouTubers here who work, who are working harder, who are who you know are more respectful. But yet you here, you have that one chance, that one chance to have a great channel. And what do you do? You make fun of someone's dead daughter? Absolutely pathetic, man. Absolutely pathetic, scummy. I don't care. And before any of you guys say, but it was just a joke. It was just a joke. Okay, then, if it's just a joke, imagine you're at a funeral for, for someone you love that just passed away, and someone just starts cracking jokes about how much they hated that person that died. How would, how would you react? How would you react? Like, genuinely, right now, how would you react? Like, let's say you have, I don't know, a brother or sister that passes away. And, and someone comes along and at the funeral, they're like, Haha, he looked ugly or she looked ugly or this, this and that. Obviously, you're going to get pissed off. That's a normal human reaction. So stop using. It's a joke. Cancel culture. Like, why do these people have to constantly scapegoat cancel culture jokes? This, this and that. Like, come on. And it's absolutely embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing uh, what we have to go through. It's absolutely pathetic and again mecha random 42 a message i have to send to you is hey pipe down how about next time you think before you speak stop using that little brain of yours and act actually think before you say anything and again think about it if you were in the other position imagine if someone was making fun of your dead loved one i mean i know i'll punch like if someone was to if someone was to actually make fun of someone i love that just passed away i'd, be, I'd punch them straight in the face i don't care i don't care because in life, if you attack someone, obviously they're going to hit you back. And that's all I have to say, man. And look, I didn't know who this channel was before. I didn't know who she was prior. But now that I know her, I'll obviously never be supporting her. I'll never be showing her my support. Is at the end of the day, it's not just because I'm a Snyder fan. It's because I'm a human being. That's all that matters. And if you're mad, if you're mad at me for being mad at someone for making fun of... Uh, making fun of someone's dead loved one then check your priorities man check your priorities if if you're actually mad at me for responding check your priorities for me wanting to cancel her because at the end of the day there are some idiots here online and mecha random 42 just happens to be one of them